Hello everyone, welcome to the world of data structure. What today's topic is binary tree traversal. Hi, this is Dennis Shah, your instructor. So let's start with the outlines. See, first today we need to understand that what do we mean by binary tree traversal. Then we'll talk about the in order traversal. And I will show you one example that how can you write the traversal order okay, in binary tree when you are performing with in order traversal operation. Fine. Now, another two or list of the two traversals are pre order and post order. We will talk about pre order and post order in our upcoming lectures. Okay. So, let's first start that what do we mean by binary tree traversal? So, students. Here is the definition of binary tree traversal that when you are visit each and every node of binary tree then that operation is known as traversal in binary tree. So before understanding that what we exactly mean by traversal or, or how we are going to perform it let me show you some terms the first one is L, L is stands for left then we have V, V stands for visit and then another term is R, R stands for right. Fine. So, here three terminologies are there left, visit and right. Fine. Okay. So, in in order students, in in order what we need to do is we just need to traverse or visit the node in a left, visit and right manner. Okay. So, what you are exactly speaking I am not able to understand it. Okay. Just wait for a moment. If you in your class of 30 or if in our class of 60. Just imagine that there are six rows are there okay first I decide to go to visit the row number one then row number two then row number three I am just going to visit from left to right from left to right so at that time students what happens in such situations in such situation my visiting order is left to right okay now if I imagine a situation when I am just uh, choose another way to visit your bench that I am just choosing from right to left okay so that is another scenario what am I my aim is my aim is to visit bench of each and every student at least one okay I visit your bench then check your homework or check your notebooks that is my purpose so for that that operation is known as for class data structure the that operation is known as traversing operation so same like that here what I need to do is I just need to visit each and every node of tree fine so first is in order in which see V stands for visit V stands for visit where you are visiting a node in between of the elements then that is known as in order okay so name shows that how we are visiting the nodes first we have V in order that shows L, V, R, L stands for left, V stands for visit and then go and move towards the right side. Then we have pre-order, okay. Now just imagine a situation, okay. In, in order, V is in between of L and R, okay. Right now, in pre-order, V is first because according to pre-order, you need to first do visit, then go left, then right. Fine. Now, the next is, that is post order okay so post order is l r and v l stands for left r stands for right and v stands for visit so in post order traversing operation you first need to go on the left side then go on the right side and then do visit operation fine so so what is exactly mean by go on the left side go on the right side that we will see in our example but let me show the figure first See, here is a figure, the root node A is there, O, A, O, F, P, L, H, E, J, Q and G, fine. So most probably I am just taking the common example in my each and every lecture, so you will understand it very easily, fine. So just I am going to perform each and every operation on this figure or on this tree. So let's start first with the in order operation. But before that, remember three things. In in order, in in order LVR. In order LVR. Fine. For pre-order, we have to go or we have to choose VLR. Visit left, right. And in post-order students, we need to choose 
L R V that means left, right, and visit. So here, right now, we need to perform three different operations in order, pre-order, and post-order. These three are the types of traversal operations. Fine. So let's start with the first, very first traversal type that is in order traversing. So here it is. I have already written over that that L V R. So you are you can easily understand sir what we need to do we first need to go on the left then visit then right fine so this is our tree okay so in exam or before or to solve this example what to do okay students just write lvr in on each and every node suppose i have root node a okay then node o then node f so what i need to do is i just need to write lvr tag on each and every node okay so here it is see i have just already done that lvr on each and every node okay so always start your operations from root node make sure you need to start your operation from root node okay so now just focus on the slides that how i am performing the operations okay so first very first is on the root node that is written as l l stands for students l means left l means left so just cut left okay so just cut left okay see just cut on the left and move on the left side so i'm just moving on the left side so now the next node is o again again see first i start with the first i start with the root node a first i start with the root node a fine now what to do is first is l first is l so you just need to cut down the l okay and then move on the left side so whatever the operation we have performed we are going to cut it down if i go on the left side so first i just need to cut l then move on the left side if i go on the right side so first i need to cut r and then move on the right side why i am doing such type of things so at the end i can understand okay these are the operations i need to perform okay or these are the remaining operation that i just forgot to perform okay so do not forget the sequence just go in a sequence if first is l so do l that is left cut on the l and move forward to the next node that is o okay now now what is uh, on o what you are just reading right now that is lvr again lvr again so first you need to do is left so cut on the left okay and then move ahead on the left side on the left sub child okay so o's left sub child is p okay so what you need to do is you just need to cut on l cut on l and move further for p now tell me is there any node on the left side of p is there any node on the left side of p yes or no no okay so just forget it okay so that's finished if there is no node on the left side then it's okay now let's take v v of which node v of p because you need to still remain operations on p okay so from a we cut down the l and move towards the o from o we cut down l again move towards the p then on p students we cut down the l but after that there are no nodes on the left side so take v so that is visit that is visit so this is the first node which we need to write in our order in our answer so during the in order which is the very first node that we have visited that is p okay fine okay so if you can see when i just visited the node p i just cut on the v and write down that answer over here okay so what you need to do is you just need to first we need to cut p we need to cut v okay visit p and write down it in the answer fine now fine what is the next operation r okay l v r above the p read it very carefully l v then you need to perform one r operation okay students is there any right side yes right side of the p there is h okay so just move on the right side of p right side on the p okay that is that is h very good so what you need to do is you just need to right side of the p that is h so first is l now students tell me is there any left node of l no so that means you just need to go on the v that means visit h 
so i'm just writing h over here okay fine the next is r next is r is there any right child of h is there any right child of h cut r is there any right child of h no okay see now this is the main step that you need to understand during the traversal operations right now all three l b and r of h is cut down we just cut each we have already done left visit and right for h so what you need to do is when you are just performing such operations then if all three l v are cut down then go to the parent node then go to the parent node see what we need to do is we just need to perform left visit and right on h we have already done it then where to go get back to the parent node who is the parent node of h that is p so get back to the p fine now check the remaining operations you done l yes you done v yes you done r yes so all three operations done on v so what we need to do move further we just need to move to the parents node again so the p's parent node is o so here it is o so let's start with the o okay so what is the remaining operation students that is v so first you need to visit o so write down the o in your answer fine so now the next is r so move towards the right side cut on the r then move towards the right side that is l okay on l node we first need to go on the left side so move towards the cut the l then move towards the left side that is e so again left side of e cut l move towards the left side of e that is nothing on the left side of e so students what we need to do is we just need to move next operation of e that is v v stands for visit so when you are just performing visit operation just write down that in answer so that's e so e is our next node which is visited by us after o now the next is next is r for e next is right side is there any node on the right side of e no that means just cut r now again all three l v and r is already cut down for node e now what to do what to do if all three cut down then again students what to do you just need to move towards the parent node now e's parent node is l so just move towards the l now what is the next operation remaining in on l that is visit so just do visit of l write down the l in the answer and then move towards the next that is r so r that means the right side is there any node on the right side of l yes or no no so don't worry just cut down the r there is nothing on the right side so now just check l b and r all three operations performed on l all are cut down then what to do just move towards the parent node again so i'm just moving towards the parent node now check o check o very carefully is there any remaining operation on o l l v and r all three performed yes then move towards the parent node now tell me what is the parent node of o that is our root node a that is our root node a so now go on a now see on a we have already done on the l left side is completed now what to do next is next is visit next is visit v so we need to do visit that means visit node a and write node a into the answer fine so next after a we need to visit a now next is r so move towards the right side cut down r go on the right side our node is f so that means you need to just do the left left side okay cut down l move towards the left side that is j so again left side cut down l move towards the left side is there anything remaining on the left side of j no students so what is the remaining operation that is v after l we need to perform v okay that's why write down visit j write down into the answer fine now the next is r next is r okay that means cut r move towards the right side of j that is g that is g fine so now we are on the g so g is a leaf node same as h and e you know that g is a leaf node okay so that means there is no left side okay so just there is no node on the left side so just performing the visit operation over g that means write down the g and check the right side of g is there any uh, node on the right side of g no 
fine so just cut it down and then move towards the c now all three nodes sorry all three operations l b and r are already completed on g so just move towards the parent node of g students what is the parent node of g tell me what is the parent node of g that is j okay now tell me is there any operation perform on is there any operation remaining on j to be performed no because we have already done left visit and right fine so what to do just move towards the parent of j which node is parent node of j c f okay so is there any operation remaining on f yes that is visit so just visit f write down the f into the answer and then move further next operation we need to perform is r what is the next operation that is r okay so just you need to move towards the right side of f okay so here it is cut down the r then move towards the right side of f that is q so now perform the left of q is there anything on the left of the q cut down l just check it out is there anything on the left of q no fine the next is visit so just visit the q and write down it in the answer the last one is r cut down the r okay now is there anything remaining see now the whole figure i am just cutting each and every l v r l v r okay notation on the nodes why i am doing such things because because in exam i am not getting any error okay if i just forgot to perform any operation or if i just forgot to visit any node then i can easily check it out okay so students what you need to do is you just need to perform the operation as per the instructions and instructions are very common l v r for in order you need to go first on the left side then do visit then right side so if you can see the figure if i am showing you something like first you just need to go on the check out the root node okay first you need to select the left side then visit then right left visit right left visit right now if you are on the root node a then first you need to go on the left until and unless you do the visit of that node please don't write in the answer whenever you do the visit then write down the answer whenever you do the visit then write down the answer fine so here my answer of the in order traversal is p h o e l a j g f and q fine this is the order of visiting each and every node fine so that is in order traversal what you need to do is over here you just need to do l v and r that means left visit and right so that is your answer okay so just try such type of examples at your home okay take any tree make any tree but make sure it must be a binary tree and sir how can you say it is binary tree or not make sure that number of child number of child should not be more than 2 fine so that's it for today's lecture thank you so much students Thank you.